Here we're being asked to find the projection of u onto vector v, where u is the vector negative 1, 4, and v is the vector 2, 7. So I went ahead and sketched them both out here. Here's vector u, and here's vector v up here. And I'd like to project u onto v. Just a reminder from the last video, here's our formula for the projection. Just remember it's a scalar multiple of v, since you're projecting it onto v. And then here is that scalar, it's u dot v divided by the norm of v squared. So really, all we're going to do um, to find the projection is we need to find the scalar and then multiply it to the vector 2 comma 7. So the way that we write projection is p r o j and then we'll put the, um, the vector that we're uh, projecting after the p r o j. It's almost like a function, it's almost like f of x, we're going to write the projection of u. So p r o j project vector u onto vector v which we'll write as a subscript. The vector that you're projecting onto is always the subscript vector here. All right, and it's going to be some scalar multiple of 2 comma 7. So really the meat of the problem is just figuring out what the scalar should be. And so I think we can do that over here on the side. So first thing, let's find the dot product. So I'll, I'll just kind of squeeze this in wherever I can. Uh, u dot v, um, we should be pretty comfortable with dot products. We're going to multiply the ith components and jth components and then add them up. So we'd get negative 1 times 2 plus 4 times 7. So that would be 28 minus 2 is 26. So 26 would be the numerator, that's the dot product. And then we're going to take the magnitude of v squared. So we'll squeeze that in up here as well. Uh, the magnitude of v would be the square root of 2 squared plus 7 squared. So 4 plus 49, which would be root 53. But when you square the magnitude, it just gets rid of the radical. That's really all it does. So we'll divide this by 53. So notice roughly 26 over 53 is around a half-ish, you know, it's, it's whereabouts 0.5. So really all we're going to do is we're going to scale back this vector by a half, right? So 50%. And sure enough, look at the picture. I think that seems very reasonable. If here's vector v, and this drawing isn't really even to scale, the projection, just by looking at it without any of the algebra, I can see if you project u onto v, you know, that example of uh, analogy of a shadow on the ground type of thing we talked about in the last video, v is going to be about as half as long as it currently is for the projection. And so the algebra um, mirrors that. It makes it, makes it pretty clear. So um, we're gonna, just going to distribute this scalar through. And so we would get, uh, what's that, 52 over 53, comma, uh, 7 times 26. Let's see, that's pretty big. So 140 and 42, so 182 over 53. So this is a new vector. This is the projection right here, the projection of u onto vector v.